Yeah, they did. You know, they had the streets blocked off starting early this morning. Whenever I got here around 11, they were just finishing up and Mayor Bowser quickly came out here once this was all completed. And that's whenever she officially named this portion of the street from the White House down to K Street, Black Lives Matter Plaza. And she says every American is welcome to come here and peacefully protest. And that's exactly what is going on right now. We have music playing. We have people. They just did a conga line and people have been dancing and chatting and waving their signs and waving flags, you know, all along this stretch of road, which is now Black Lives Matter Plaza. On this eighth day of protest, hundreds of people today welcomed with this a city commissioned mural reading Black Lives Matter in massive size letters along 16th Street between H, I and K, leading directly to the White House. The mayor officially naming a portion of the street Black Lives Matter Plaza. I welcome all peaceful protesters to Washington, D.C. A direct message to President Trump himself. The mayor's chief of staff tweeted that the mayor wanted to make it abundantly clear that this is D.C. Street. This comes after days of the mayor requesting the president remove federal law enforcement and military personnel from the streets of the district. Then today came this tweet from the president calling Mayor Bowser incompetent with an out of control budget who is constantly looking for handouts and now fighting with the National Guard who saved her from embarrassment the last couple of nights. The mayor wasn't surprised when asked about the president's comment. I think that we all have to just refocus on, on what's in front of us and that's that our, our nation is hurting. Uh, it's in need of healing. Uh, and leadership at all levels. As for this weekend, the mayor and D.C. Police Chief Peter Newsham say they're expecting more people to come out and protest than what we've seen up until now. We anticipate uh, the largest demonstrations with regards to numbers that we've seen in the city uh, to date. The chief couldn't give an estimate on how many people will be coming to demonstrate, but compared it to the Women's March, which had roughly a million people, he noted that it may not get to that size because multiple protests are expected across the country. But city officials anticipate these protests to be peaceful and are warning those who think otherwise. Anybody who's here to do destruction will be dealt with by our police department. Chief Newsham added that D.C. would be working with Oker, the law enforcement partners that they typically work with, as well as the D.C. National Guard. And I do want to add that compared to days past, there is a stark difference in the lack of law enforcement officers that are out here. And again, this protest is very peaceful. I'm live in D.C. Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.